My web 2.0 tool is called Easy Test Maker. It is a website where you can make tests, save tests, and uh, use them later. It also has an online grading test feature. Um, I'm going to show you uh, my test that I made. And I'm going to show you other features that we have. Here's how you go to the Easy Test Maker. It has a couple options on the left side. You have section heading, which I had multiple choice here. And then later on on the test, I had true or false. And then you have types of questions such as short answer, multiple choice, true or false, matching, fill in the blank, and you can copy questions from other tests that you have made. So here we have multiple choice, and to add multiple choice questions, you just hit, we're going to edit here, and when you check this box, add another multiple choice after saving. We'll save the question I had earlier, what is the correct name for this web 2.0 tool, which is Easy Test Maker. And when I save it, it'll allow me to ask another question, such as, how long can our screencast be? And you're allowed to list options in these columns. Uh, so we'll have four minutes, five minutes, seven minutes, or two minutes. And of course, the correct answer is seven. So on the left side, you put the circle you fill in the circle where the correct answer is. And I'm going to uncheck this because I don't want to have any more multiple choice questions. And I'm going to save. And now it adds that question right where I edited. Another question I asked was, what are some options of the type of questions that can be asked, which I mentioned earlier. And there's a feature that you can allow multiple correct options, such as the short answer, multiple choice, fill in the blank, or true and false. Other types of questions you can ask are true, false, which are just as easy when adding a true, false. You simply write the statement and show whether or not it is true or false. There are other types of things like matching, fill in the blank. Fill in the blank is similar where you type in the sentence, what is or how about we do a tool that is used on the web is called a web 2.0 tool and if then you must select where you want your blank and you can save that and now if you scroll down that is your question a tool that is used on the web is called and when you print this out this will not be here and it will be a fill in the blank for you um, then you can easily save these tests they save automatically uh, you can publish them for other people to see you can check your spelling right here. Uh, other things you can do include looking at other tests. This was a test I made earlier just to see how it works. Um, you can print your tests and, or download them. And that's pretty much it. That's my web 2.0 tool.